What's going on guys and welcome back to episode 5 of Score Streak Variants. Today we're going to be talking about the RC8. Now my initial thoughts with the RC8 is it's honestly not a score streak that I use too much. I usually rely on like the UAV, the Warden, the Advanced UAV and usually the Advanced UAV is probably the highest kill streak that I run with so I don't really get too much hands on time with the RC8. And it's kind of weird because depending on which map you play with depends on which prototype will work the best. So I really can't put my finger on it and say like this one is definitely a hundred times better than this one. They all kind of have their perks and their benefits but it, it comes down to which map you're playing with and you'll see that in my testing. So to start off the first prototype that we have is the rare prototype called the Hellion. And what that gives you is the burnout perk and what that reads it increases the movement speed, but has a lower active lifetime. So normally when you call in the RC8, it has an active lifetime of one minute. Now, if you want to manually control it, usually by the time it lands and you actually have the ability to hop into it, you have about 55 seconds remaining. Now, switching over to the rare prototype, the active life drops all the way down to 50 seconds. So again, by the time you hop in and all that good stuff, you're looking at about 45 seconds of you actually controlling this prototype. So that's the negative side of things, but it is definitely a lot quicker. So my testing that I did, I ran from one end of Frontier all the way to the other end of Frontier. And with the normal prototype, it took about 16 seconds. And then throwing on the rare prototype, it decreased the time to about 12 seconds. So it definitely is faster, but is it useful? I don't know. Maybe on larger maps it might be a little more useful, but you know, when it comes to the RC8, I tend to just, you know, run to the middle of the map and kind of just p patrol an area. Let the enemies come to me. You don't want to run to one side of the map because then if the spawn flips, you're, you have to run all the way back. And by the time you do that, you're completely out of time. So the best way to do this is kind of make your way towards the middle of the map and just kind of patrol a certain area. And that's that's honestly the best way you can handle an RC8. Now, hopping over to the legendary prototype, this is the one I'm actually using in the background for this gameplay. And this is the pinwheel prototype, and what this gives you is the minigun. And pretty much what it does, it replaces the main weapon with a fast firing energy machine gun. Now, this is nice in certain situations, I do like it, I mean, there's really no huge benefit between using the normal RC8 and this machine gun one. They are both very powerful, they take out the enemies instantly. So there's really no plus side to this. The only thing I can really see is because it's an energy weapon, it does ricochet off the walls. So you can kind of just shoot this down the hallways and get some reflective shots. And obviously it's fully automatic, very powerful. So it does take out enemies that are hiding behind corners and all that good stuff. But again, I can do that anyways with the normal RC8 and just that blast radius he has with his rocket launcher missile thing. So honestly, not a huge benefit here using the legendary one. Again, I just want to try it out some gameplay, specifically this map because it does have those tiny hallways. So I really want to see like, would it benefit me a lot if I could just shoot down these hallways, shoot around the corners and all that good stuff. And honestly, it once in a while it helped, but again, like I said a minute ago, I can easily use that blast radius on the normal RCA to get this done. So overall, the legendary prototype isn't anything great. And then finally getting into the epic prototype called the Meteor. This gives you the boosters perk and what that does is you are able to perform a short vertical boost by holding X. So just like you normally would jump with your character, you can hop in the RC8 and hit that same button and yes, you can boost jump around. Now it is nice because you can boost jump left and right. So it does give you that little strafing ability which is nice. And like I said, the biggest thing is depending on what maps you're playing can really affect which prototype you should be picking. And the perfect example is Frontier. So if you've ever called in an RC8 on Frontier, it is very difficult to get around the map. Like if you want to actually run around and you know go to the bottom layer, you have to walk all the way back up to the stairs, but not with the epic prototype. You can actually make those jumps that you normally do and just kind of fly around the map and there's nothing restricting you, nothing holding you back. And even when it comes to Sky Dock, you can jump up on that middle section because it is a tough place to reach for the normal RC8. And there's many maps that are like that. So I really, really like the epic prototype. The ability to jump is actually very game changing. It may not seem like too much, but when you really think about it, think about the maps where like, oh, I can't get to that section of the map because I have to jump or I have to fly around. This is the perfect time to call in the epic RC8. Now again, honestly, I feel like the RC8 and the Apex don't get used too much anyways. And you know, it's not like you need to worry too much because I feel like a lot of people don't run with the RC8 or the Apex. I mean, the only times you really see them are when people get them into care packages. But other than that, I feel like, you know, the good players, their highest kill streak tends to be the advanced UAV. 
So you don't really have to worry about RC8s running around and, you know, crazy Apexes running around. Like with the dogs and the swarm and the raps. Like, those were always my favorite because you didn't have to control them. And they could always get you a crap ton of kills. And I feel like sometimes with the RC8 just doing its AI controlled thing, it doesn't really get you too many kills. But again, the Epic is my favorite prototype. It's nothing too crazy, but it is technically game changing. So... It's really nice to see that. It's really nice to be able to jump with it. And yes, if you're wondering, you can jump on people and kill them. Uh, you can jump and shoot. It doesn't really give you a huge vantage point, but you can do that if you so please. But other than that, that's going to be a wrap on this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It always helps me out. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.